Merry Christmas. It's Miss Dorothy, and I'm here to read you a bedtime story before you go to bed on this very, very special Christmas day. I hope you had a wonderful day with your family. I hope it was very, very special, and I have something that I want to do for you before you go to sleep. See, I was thinking, rather than a regular storybook tonight, I thought it would be really great if we got together and we read the Christmas story out of the Bible. If we read the Christmas story together, exactly as it happened, exactly as it's recorded in the Bible. So what Miss Dorothy wants to do is I want to open the Bible to Luke 2 and I want to read the Christmas story to you. I think that's a great way to end a very special Christmas day. What do you think? Do you think we should get into the Bible together at the end of this great Christmas day? Good. Let's open the Bible now. Now remember, Miss Dorothy's reading the Word of God, so you need to pay really close attention and be really quiet. So sit up and listen up, because here we go. And it came to pass in those days that there went out a decree from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be taxed. And this taxing was first made when Cyrenius was governor of Syria. And all went to be taxed, every one to his own city. And Joseph also went up from Galilee, out of the city of Nazareth, into Judea, unto the city of David, which is called Bethlehem, because he was the house and lineage of David, to be taxed with Mary, his espoused wife, being great with child. And so it was that while they were there, the days were accomplished that she should be delivered. And she brought forth her firstborn son and wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger because there was no room for them in the inn. And there were in the same country shepherds abiding in the field, keeping watch over their flock by night. And lo, the angel of the Lord came upon them, and the glory of the Lord shone round about them, and they were sore afraid. And the angel said unto them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. And this shall be a sign unto you. Ye shall find the babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill toward men. And it came to pass, as the angels were gone away from them into heaven, the shepherds said one to another, Let us now go even unto Bethlehem, and see this thing which has come to pass, which the Lord hath made known unto us. And they came with haste, and found Mary and Joseph and the babe lying in the manger. And when they had seen it, they made note abroad the saying which was told them concerning this child. And all they that heard it wandered, and those things which were told to them by the shepherds. But Mary kept all these things and pondered them in her heart. And the shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all the things that they had heard and seen as it was told unto them. Wow, that was really special. I am so glad we took time on Christmas Day to read the Bible together and to read the Christmas story. I think it's real important that we do that. And before you go to sleep, I thought it would be great for you to hear all about Christmas Day and why you had the very special day that you had today with your family and a tree and food and presents and all the great things that happened today were all because of this story and what took place in the Bible.
I'm so glad we read this together. Thank you for coming back on Christmas night and listening to it with me. I want you to have a great sleep. You still have a lot of fun to have over the next few days. I mean, it's Christmas vacation. You get time with your presents and time with your family and time with your friends and probably your cousins and aunts and uncles and grandma and grandpa and mom and dad. I think you're going to have a wonderful few days. And as you go off to sleep tonight, I want you to be thinking about the reason for these special days. It's all about Jesus. It's all about the story we just heard. And I want you to think about that as you go off to sleep. And I want to pray about that tonight. I want to pray about your wonderful Christmas day and thank God for all that you had. Would you pray with Miss Dorothy about that? All right, fold your hands and close your eyes. Dear God, thank you for this special Christmas day. Thank you that we were able to share it with family and friends. Thank you for all the presents and all the food and all the fun. But mostly, thank you for baby Jesus. Thank you for sending him into this world to live for us, to die for us, to rise for us, so that we could one day spend our eternity with you. That's what Christmas is all about. Help us to remember that. And as we have sweet dreams tonight, let us please dream of baby Jesus and all that was done for us. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, my little munchkin, I need you to get off to bed. I know you've had a really big day. You're probably really, really tired. It would be a good night for you to curl up, cuddle up, get under those covers and be real snuggly. Give mom and dad lots of hugs and kisses. And as you spend the next few days with your family, remember, show them and God and everybody how much you love them and how much you appreciate everything that's been done for you. And you can do that by obeying and obey right away. And come back and see Miss Dorothy because I'm going to be back here with another book for you. Bye.